Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Thought I'd try to squeeze in a little bit of time. I've been so busy this week, I have not been able to spend the amount of time it's really needed to try to actually do some decent deer hunting. But this is a good spot here in the woods. I'll try to swing the camera around and show you, but there's a trail, game trail, that comes up from the creek and into these there's some um, thicket here and they like to come up here in the woods I think they stick their, they bed down in the thicket they kind of stick their heads out sometimes uh, but let me see if I can swing it around I don't know how well you'll see it anyways probably not very good from your perspective but um, I can see pretty good if they decide to come up here <sighs> old Joe Biden yeah Sleepy Joe, Potato Joe, whatever, Lion Joe, Crazy Joe, everybody's got a name for him. Uh, but anyways, he has signed a, an agreement with China. I mentioned it, I think, this morning or yesterday, and I think a couple other YouTubers have mentioned it, that uh, with China, that we're going to try to eliminate fossil fuels. I, that's a silly term for it, but that's what everyone knows it by, you know, oil, gas, that kind of stuff. Um, and work with China to increase uh, green energy solutions uh, threefold, apparently, is what they're saying. Of course, China is going to jump on this because China is not an energy producer. They don't really produce that much. Uh, they import all of their energy. But one of the things that China does a lot, and that is their technology. They build the vast majority of the world's solar panels and wind power and all the components that go along with that they build them you know if you're buying solar panels or little solar generators or any of that kind of stuff uh, to live off grid it's either being completely manufactured in china or the components most likely are uh, or the resources to make the components uh, come from china or their control uh, that's why they've been going around for the last few years of buying up and getting their foothold into things like lithium and cobalt and uh, other rare earth minerals because most of those things are what's needed to produce all the green energy stuff. So, of course, uh, they're going to do that. It was interesting reading about it that, of course, the goal <laughs> is to meet these things by 2030. Ah, another interesting, another interesting date that they always throw out there, 2030. Um, and it, it, we're just going to see more gas prices increased. Uh, we're going to see more of these stupid, silly regulations on ceiling fans and heaters and stoves and water heaters and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's going to continue to increase the, the severity of that and, and the, the bottom line is is that directly affects you and I it affect, affects us as just individuals whether we're paying higher prices at the pump or in our utility bills uh, makes it harder for us to to live in somewhat reasonable financial state and then for those of you that want to you know kind of do the homestead thing well then it puts you in the position where you're if you do off-grid and stuff, now you're supporting the whole China uh, stuff with all the solar panels and everything. So it's, it's, it's selling us out. I hear something over here, and it sounds big. It could just be a squirrel playing in the, the leaves, but it sounds a little heavy for a squirrel. But anyways, this is coming at us. I've been talking to you about this for years. Um, it, it's 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 I still think that while all of this war stuff and all of this social breakdown of the, the war between families and gender ideology and race and religion is all part of the plan, I think a big part of all of that is just to distract us and break us down, put our society, our civilization into a position where oh we're falling apart, you know everything's in in disarray. We need help. We need big brother to come in and take care of us and it's also distracting us so that they can be doing all this kind of stuff I, I know i'm stating the obvious but some of you may not quite fully get it yet and you're still very focused on certain 
little things that's going on and, and forgetting to look at the bigger picture. But the bigger picture is, is that the Agenda 2030 and the Great Reset and all that stuff is still running full steam ahead, folks. Full steam ahead. And we, we don't have much longer before those things are implemented. We can talk about the potentials of war, civil war, World War III, all those kind of things all we want. And maybe they will happen and maybe they won't. But these agenda things, um, they are happening. They're happening and they're, they're pushing forward and that's part, not the only, but that's part of the reason why we're seeing increase of prices of things, uh, you know, cars or, you know, who can afford to buy a new car nowadays? And, and the new cars are so full of technology, you're, you're, you're driving around in a little prison. And before too long, I think it's another two or three years that the law is, is that all of these cars are supposed to be able to be turned off. You know, so they'll have the ability to turn them off. It's already that way now with a lot of these electric cars, Tesla cars and stuff. They can track everywhere you go. They can control your driving. If you're driving too erratically, it'll shut down, uh, report you, all that kind of stuff. So these things are happening, even if the other immediate stuff that we talk about all the time is or isn't or is unsure. Now, I want to circle back... <laughs> or circle around to something that irritates some of you. Some of you are all in for it, and some of you it's irritating. And I don't know how to tell you, that those of you that's irritated that I talk about this all the time, but it's important. And that's the connection of all of this stuff that makes community even more important. Um, I know I push it a lot. I know I talk about it a lot. Some of you are tried and true lone wolfers and you're never going to change others you're lone wolves because that's the only thing that you can figure out to do right now and you just get tired of me talking about community all the time but I'm telling you it is imperative that we we build uh, connections with other people because as this stuff starts happening fuel prices going up the the availability of energy the the downsizing of our society in the sense that you know you're going to have less freedom less less energy to function as a as a normal household in society um, having other folks around you and living a self-sufficient lifestyle at the same time is going to be uh, imperative I mean just from where I'm sitting and where you can see how much fuel do you see lying around um, this here this hillside this is this particular hillside got hit with some a storm that came through it wasn't a tornado um, but some pretty high winds last year and so there's several trees uh, that are down and here after deer season and when it cools down a little bit uh, I'll be back in here and clearing out these trees that are down why because that's fuel that is fuel for my family and we, it keeps us warm in the winter time and while we don't have the system up and running yet we could do other things like heat water or even create energy uh, we're seriously looking into the possibility of, a, of getting a, a steam engine a small steam engine and because of all the the capabilities that, that a small steam engine can do we've got a, a spring fed year-round creek and we've got lots and lots of trees which are the two things that's needed to run a steam engine they don't want you to have that kind of capabilities. That's why they're trying to make wood stoves illegal and they're trying to make, you know, the, the storing propane illegal and that they want you all on their grid. They do not want you living like this. And I've said this before, whatever the government doesn't want you to do, that's probably the very thing you should be doing. They don't want you to own these. You should probably own several. They don't want you to stockpile ammunition. Have you seen the Elizabeth Warren bill to try to regulate bulk buying of ammo? Uh, they don't want you to have that. They don't want you to grow your own food. They don't want you to live off the land. They don't want you to um, have community. You know, uh, they, They've conditioned most of the American people to think that community is bad, that whenever you have some kind of off-grid prepper community that it's just filled with radical extremists that are you know trying to do bad things which is true in some cases but certainly not in all cases and definitely not in our case 
they want to convince you that it's that it's wrong that you don't need to depend on other people you need to depend on the government and the system because the system will take care of you and it'll always be there which is not true and all it does is it creates such dependency that um, when things do get bad what are you gonna do if you're so hyper dependent if your very existence if your your life's existence is dependent upon them when it all falls apart What's your plan? Well, you can't have a plan because you're dependent on, upon them. So you're going to do whatever they tell you to do. You're going to move into whatever little pod they tell you to do. You're going to give up whatever they tell you to give up. You're going to comply however you can because very few people are willing to actually martyr themselves, sacrifice themselves um, for their, their ideology. Uh, it's, it's just it's not a human nature thing. Some may, but it's typically not true. And they know that, so they know if they can get you addicted to their system, addicted to their conveniences and their technology and the ease and the safety and the security, which it's all false safety and security, but it, 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 irregardless of that, if they can get you addicted to all that kind of stuff, then when they pull the rug out from under you or when things get bad and they say, oh, now it's, it's gotten even worse because all these crazy people aren't listening, now the only solution is for you to move off of your little farms or to give up your vehicles or to move even deeper into the cities and live in confined areas and only go out no more than 15 minutes from where you live and take all of these things in your body and eat this bug meal and because it's what we have to do. And you won't have a choice. You won't have a choice because you stayed in Babylon. You stayed in the system. You, you, you ate from her, her vines. I mean, that, that's just all it is. <clears throat> is this apocalyptic? Is this doomsday? Sure, I guess it is. I, I don't care at this point. The, the, the fact is, is that even right now, under the somewhat normal conditions of the world, I am way more freer out here than I am in the city. Do we have as much? Do we have the same luxuries and conveniences? I, I guess not. You know, I can't order pizza at 10 o'clock and have it delivered or anything else and have it delivered. You know, even ordering something on Amazon takes a week, week and a half to get here. Oh well. You know, I mean, you know, we have to, we have to grow our own food and, and, and do more, more outside work. I have to come up here and blood, sweat and tears to, you know, cut all this wood up so that we can be warm and this will not be for this year I know someone's gonna say you should already have your wood in we do we do this is wood for future years um, always got to clarify because there's always got to be some some negative Nancy in the chat and the comments but it's not as easy it's not as pleasant in some ways in a lot of ways I think it's more but I get it Community's hard. People don't tend to naturally always get along with each other, They're especially with the, the way our society has been, has kind of developed, you know. We're, we're, we're not the best at getting along anymore. But it's the best that we can come up with, and it's, it's what we should be doing. And I'm always, always, always going to advocate that as much as you possibly can getting out away from the cities, getting out of the, the Babylon, the Rome, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Rome's burning, you need to leave. And getting out where you can take care of yourself. Because that's, honestly, it's more important than the amount of buckets of food or canned food or freeze-dried food or whatever that you have stored in your closet. Because while it's harder out here, I have a better chance of taking care of myself. There's negatives. I get it. I get see it in the comments all the time. Oh, well, they'll come out there for you just like they will. Yeah, yeah. But I'll have a better chance of seeing them coming if that if it if they come out here, if they want to if they want to risk what it's going to take, the manpower that it's going to take to come out here and round up all of us hillbillies. It's pretty dug in out here in the thicket. If they want to risk that. We're going to see them coming. I'm not worried about it. When it gets to that point, then we know it's, it's bad, bad. But when you're struggling to figure out how you're going to put food on the table, I'm just thinking, well, <clears throat> we need to expand our goats or our sheep or our chickens or our garden 
um, so that we can have more food. And we do that in advance. That's why I've been pushing for growing more food for years. That's why I've been pushing for, you know, raising animals and stuff for years. Because I know that these days are coming. You know, when it's 1500 to $2,000 a month in groceries for a family of four. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. But that's getting close to the national average now. You know, it's, it's costing more to, to pay for your house payment than it is to buy groceries. And that's sad, and it's only going to get worse. You need to be getting your houses in order, folks. <clears throat> Do your thing or get off the pot. That's kind of an old saying that I've tried to censor as much, as much as possible. But do your thing or get off the pot. Because um, tough times are coming. Winter's coming. Election cycle's coming. And lots of things going on in the world that are all fighting against folks like you and I. You need to be preparing yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.